I mean, it's, 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 you're, it's you're right. flavory. It's very flavory, but the, the low uh, alcohol content and not not so much carbonation. It's just a joy for me. Now that's the seafarers. Like, that's really the seafarers. Yeah, and that's a pale ale, guys. Um, yes. It's citrusy, definitely. It's got some. Uh, a pretty solid deal of bitterness, but still, it's got. It's not overpowering on the bitter side. As some like Amer American pale ales, for example, they are really bitter. And it's got that sweet malt complexity this one, too. This one. Here we have the, the Discovery, and that's hand pumped, right? Oh yes, yes. hand pumped. And Cost. It's it's quite citrusy, and, Very citrusy. and slightly grapefruity as well. Yes. Probably because of the yeah. Willamette hops. Because that, the Willamette yeah. hops. Yeah, and, and very uh, hoppy aftertaste, too. So it, it's a good complement to the citrus first, and then, yeah. and then slowly... Great fruity notes in the taste as well. Um, this is kind of reminiscent like of the, the American um, uh, IPA. This, of course, because of the American hops. But I actually didn't know before you told me that it was brewed with American hops. But it's pretty nice. And it was a... I would say, you know, it's a, 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 a big but also quite mild. change in the Fuller's range because it was the first one to use the foreign grain hops. Yeah. Now, of course, this one does too. Yeah. Okay, so now Chiswick. Chiswick bitter. Yeah. Chiswick bitter. There we go. That's, um, I had that one when we uh, did the brewery tour back in 2009, me and some of my mates. And, um, I brought a bottle with me but back home, but that was before I started doing the vlogging, so uh -huh. that's why I didn't, don't, didn't have that on, on film. This, I think you need to say probably on your blog, is that when you come to this, when people come to the UK, it is quite difficult to find in the pubs yeah. the, the Chiswick because of the fact that pubs do not have a lot of hand pubs and the publican has to make the choice what do his clients drink. You'll always be, usually always in a fullest pub, you will always have find the pride. pride yeah. uh, sometimes the Chiswick, depending on, it, it has had in the past uh, perhaps a connotation of being a bit of an old man's beer. Yeah, as but, I said, yeah. Uh, definitely a traditional beer, but much beloved by Cameron. But of course, now that's very fruity. Uh, it's in the bottle. <laughs> yeah. So in the pub, you can buy it in the bottle. And of course, don't forget when they come to the UK and live in the UK, yeah. all the supermarkets sell sell fullers. Full yeah, most sell Tesco, Sainsbury's, right. Summerfield, yeah. all these people. But, and so you can buy the. Uh, but but back to the Chiswick here. It's. It's, it's quite aromatic. It's, is, is this one dry hopped? This is dry. I, I can smell that. You can smell... And, and it, does have a dry, it does have a dry taste. When yeah, you and that's because of the hops in here. It's, it's like, it's a pretty hoppy bitter. Uh, but the, the smell is just wonderful. Yes, I can yeah. even show you how to taste it. Oh, yeah. You give it a swirl, it releases a lot of that sniff. aroma. Cheers. Cheers. Sweet maltiness in there as well. It is. This is a nice beer to sit down, slug pack on a summer day. Yeah, just like you said, what yes. is that was that would be like after mowing the lawn. You need something <laughs> thirst quenching. That's right. That's Instead of right. going with your average carning and all that, then this would be lovely. And then that smell of freshly, uh, freshly mown lawn. That's it. And then That's with right. that it would oh. be very good, very yeah. good on a sun, a sun, a sun, a summer Sunday afternoon, or even like now, a yeah. summer, a, a sunny spring afternoon. Yes. But we call it a session beer. Too. Yeah, it is. It's so, very session. Now we're going to try the uh, spring sprint of the new Gales beer. Fuller's is brewed here. Uh, it's brewed with a Nelson Sauvignon hop. Uh, from New Zealand, and uh, that's a very nice hop variety. And as you see here, it's pretty light and golden. Is this a pale ale as well? Yes, oh, yeah. yes, we haven't had anything yet that would not be pale. Oh, yeah, pale. you can definitely smell the Nelson Simmons. Oh, yes. Yeah, maybe good. I had it last week, because I don't think too much of it, but smelling it now. You smell it and it's tasty. I mean, it's just, it takes like, me right almost, my childhood. Almost a tropical fruity note to it because of the hops, I'd say. And the gooseberries. So they and gooseberry, yeah. It's very I think almost limey as well. Limey, yeah. Limey, well, limey, yeah, yeah. Yes, well, that's very good. Very good. Also, that's also very light and very refreshing. But it's, of course, it's a spring beer. It's not a winter warmer. So, but you can definitely also taste some of the sweet maltiness from it. It's not only a hop bite, as they say on the label, zesty hop flavor. That's that's correct. You just take one of these. And it says, this is about the artist who drew the... Who drew the... Yeah. Drew the yeah. <laughs> this here, guys, is the London Pride, the, like the flagship beer for this, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Much darker as well. And that's also a pale ale, as far as I believe. Yes. Is, the, is this one dry hopped? Uh, no. No, no, okay. The Chiswick and the ESP. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
hop explosion, basically. Not as hoppy still as Americans, but it's probably the most hoppy I've had from Britain, because usually they're not as hoppy as this. I think you're... I love this kind of beer. It's quite hoppy. You can still taste the sweet malts in here. Yes, well. it, you, the first taste you get is it is a little bit of the sweetness, but this is much too malty for me. Yeah, hoppy, you mean? Hoppy for me. Yeah. It's not too malty well, for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're called melted. <laughs> but um, it is like India pale pale ales are usually a quiet taste. So, um, but I really I think it's a really good in, uh, English style IPA, and I, this is one of the beers I've been wanting to try from Foles we don't get in Denmark. Try, try, try to get a good shot of the cover because I mean the cover is I did. absolutely yeah. that's, that's the, the best thing about the beer. Yeah, it's very nice. Well, Lawrence of Arabia. You're but, really enjoying this, yes? Yeah, uh, I mean, um, it's probably not as hobby as the American IPAs, but it's more hobby of, uh, as hoppy as an American pale ale. They're also huh? quite hoppy, but it's, it's like in that range, but certainly one of the most hoppy British beers I've had. Okay, guys, here's the ESB on. I've, I've never had the ESB on. Oh, the, 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 the smell is good. The smell is wonderful, but. The smell is very caramel and marmalade. Almost, it is, like, it almost is. buttery. It is, it is. Um, but I do think, I think this... I think it's very buttery, actually. Very, very I like it very much, but um, I'm not so keen on the HSP. I mean, it's all, it is all a question of taste, yeah. very much. It's and nothing, bit, nothing bit is, is right. It's also got like a marmalade, estuary, fruitiness and berry notes. Because it's of the yeast. Very rich one. It's a very rich one. Yeah. Very um, rich. But again, you still get a balance of malts as well. I, I do get like, that sweet. Also, of course, the toffee and buttery sensation is from the malts. Yeah, so. That, that's, that's quite nice. Guys, now we're having. <laughs> Ryan, this is for you. <laughs> Stubby Joe Jr. We're doing the London Porter now. I love, Fresh uh, I love from the keg. Coffee uh, aftertaste. It's just. Aroma is filled with roasted malt, the coffee. I mean, this is like probably the one of the better. Uh, certainly, my favorite traditional English porter. This is my probably one of my favorite beers from Fuller's. I mean, it's not as mild as the, as the others. It's got a more dominant taste. It's almost pudding. A lot of roast coffee notes. <laughs> it, it is a very, very nice, rich dark beer. The chocolate, dark chocolate note, the coffee. Uh, th this I'll definitely have to review sometime because uh, it's a really, really good portal. So, guys, now here we're at the the Malton Arms, hey, the Fuller's Pub, having some lunch. Mm. Uh, I'm having the same as uh, Melody. We're having the home roasted home, honey ham, home roasted honey ham and whole grain mustard, uh, with a small side of. Um, coleslaw. coleslaw and a small salad and uh, Christian he's having a <laughs> Caesar salad because he's very homosexual <laughs> and beer wise uh, Christian is having the golden pride and oh it's bad lighting there Melda is having the honeydew mm -hmm. and I'm I wanted to try something not full of that I because the, the stuff they already had in the, the bar, pub here uh, I've already had so I thought I'd try this it's called Krabby's alcoholic <laughs> ginger beer I've only had one ginger beer or two, uh, old Tom ginger beer and um, Badger Blandford Fly, and it's the beer is the aroma is very very lemony, like very orange, gingery. yeah, and gingery and orange juice as well almost. So it's quite fruity smelling along with the ginger. It's, it's smelling really sweet as well. And the flavor is very very sweet. I mean, it's you can't have more uh, than one. Uh, bottle of these one pint. It's not, not something out of session, but you, well, if you're really into sweet beers, maybe you could, because it's only on four percent alcohol. So maybe it depends on if you're really keen on ginger and all. But I still goes pretty good with the sandwiches. Mm. It's not the best pairing beer wise, but it's still pretty solid. Um, I'm gonna give it like a almost. Thumb up. I think it's pretty solid. What about you guys? What do you think of yours? Well, um, I, I chose the. Um, I'm gonna have to tilt it a little bit down because. Oh, the, I'm sorry. The, the lighting, yeah. So you can look at my beautiful chest. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, uh, I ordered the honey roasted ham on uh, on uh, whole grain bread, and then I took the honeydew pint. So that with the honey combined is actually uh, pretty good. But the whole grain mustard really makes the sandwich stand out when you're drinking the pint. So. In that sense, it's really delicious. Is that okay with your food? It's yeah. wonderful, thank you. Fine. 
Uh, so, what, so thumbs wise, what are you going? Thumbs up, thumbs to the side, thumbs down. Actually, a three point scale is probably not enough. I mean, I would say it's uh, above thumb up or what? <laughs> above thumb up, two thumbs up. It's a mutant thumb. Up. <laughs> uh, no, because usually when I'm on the road, I just use the thumbs up system instead yeah, of but analyzing that much. I really don't like the numeral thing, uh, so it's it's more of an experience actually because the pub itself was created by John Fuller and his brother, I believe. So. It's very good. It's more of an experience than an actual nu nu numeric value. So, okay. try what, it. What about you, Kitchen? And be fast, because it's running out of battery. <laughs> yeah, I chose the Golden Pride, which is, according to Michael Jackson, the cognac <laughs> of beer. And so it's know, a very so caramel and strong. I like that. I like that in a beer. I like that strong, rich taste, which isn't that hobby taste, but caramel and a little bit of Reminds me a little bit of like a whiskey or something. It's it's I like it. Does it, it pair well with the food? Not not that much because it is so big, <laughs> and the salad is light. Chicken Jesus, uh, chicken Caesar salad and <laughs> Golden Pride, a strong beer of eight point five is not that comparable. But I like the beer and I like the food, so Great. And no you, trouble. And you also have salad on your look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So by the guys, we're going to be back sometime later in the day or maybe tomorrow with some more vlogs here from London. So cheers.